Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. Well, right now at 11, protesters arrested. As Black Lives Matter demonstrators look to shut down the oceanfront, several have ended up in handcuffs. Our cameras were rolling as police made the arrest. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kayla Gaskins. Protesters hit the oceanfront to call for an end to racial injustice. We know Virginia Beach police arrested a few of the protesters. New tonight, 10 on your side's Tamara Scott joins us now from the oceanfront. So, Tamara, what did you see? Well, it's been a pretty eventful night here at the oceanfront. I'm right on Atlantic Avenue right now, and I know you can hear some music behind me. The Black Lives Matter 7x7 group started here this evening just after 8 o'clock and started their protest down towards the north end, and that's where things got a little shifty there. As they made their way, the group got bigger, and they wanted to flow into the street. And, you know, Virginia Beach has a rule about having a permit in order to go onto the street during a protest. And this group did not have a permit. So as they were making their way onto the street, the police put, created a barricade with their bicycles and with their armor. And that's where they ran into the group. And it was at that point that things got a little physical. Take a look at this video. The leader of the Black Lives Matter 757 group, I saw get detained by police officers as they were making their way into the street. Now, he was one of several other people who were also detained during that encounter. Now, that was all that we saw there. We saw those couple of arrests and then things decided to move, continue moving forward towards the north part of the ocean front. That was mostly of what we saw right there as they continued to move up. It continued to be peaceful at that point. Now, we did notice that police did follow them all the way up until they were done protesting, which they just finished up not too long ago. And during that time, it was interesting to see the business owners, several business owners down here, started to close their doors with customers still inside, worried that the protesters may start to vandalize or cause problems for their business during business hours. Now, at this point, the protesting has stopped. They just stopped at probably about less than 10 minutes ago. And so things have definitely calmed down here, but they still came out here with a message and that's what they wanted people to understand about today. So they came out here with a message to fight racial injustice and what they believe people need. Demario Joyner has family. It's been 15 years and they've never received answers. They never received closure. They never received justice. And that's why we are here today. We are Now, of course, there was a lot of things that went on tonight between the arrests and the moving up and down. At some point, they started going across every crosswalk, these protesters trying to avoid the police. But they were here, and they made sure to keep everything calm after the first in encounter that they had here. Now, like I said before, they said they wanted to keep the message that they were here to demand justice for people who they feel were wrong. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Tamara Scott, sit on your side. Well, Tamara, thank you. And a group of William and Mary students protested in Williamsburg today. Craig Mitten sent us this video of the group near Richmond and Jamestown roads around noon. They sat in the road for part of the protest. Demonstrators also held various signs saying Black Lives Matter and Black Trans Lives Matter. And it's just into the wavy newsroom. The York Pocosin Sheriff's Office needs your help finding a missing woman. Deputies say 65-year-old Dorothy Foster suffers from advanced dementia. She's from Hampton, but was last seen near the reserve in Williamsburg this afternoon. If you've seen her, call 911. Well, switching gears now, it's time to check outside. A lot of people hit the beach today to enjoy the beautiful weather, and you can see big crowds at the oceanfront this afternoon. So will this nice weather stick around? Well, we're going to check in with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. So, Jeff, really couldn't have asked for a nicer holiday weekend. Yeah, it's been nice so far, and it's starting to get kind of chilly across our area. And I don't think I've used that word chilly in a long time because 59 degrees is the temperature in Wakefield right now. Here we are at 11 o'clock, so we're seeing some 50s appearing on the map. Shows you how dry the air is across our area. 62 degrees in Franklin. It's still 68 degrees in Chesapeake. By the water, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, even Hampton, you're around 70 degrees right now, but you'll stay close to 70 degrees near the water. Open up the windows tonight. Let the fresh air in. The humidity won't be a problem at all. We have mostly clear skies tonight. There are some clouds out there, some thin clouds. Tomorrow, though, we're looking at highs near 80 degrees. Sunshine, winds out of the northeast, another beautiful day. I'll show you that seven-day forecast and the chance for rain coming up in just a bit.
Looking forward to that, Jeff. Thanks. New tonight, Portsmouth police say a body was pulled from the water near King Street. Officers responded to the area near Carolina Avenue around 530. Police say it appears to be a man. They haven't released any further details. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Also new tonight, one person went to the hospital after a fire in Chesapeake. Crews responded to the home on Center Mast Crest in the Bowers Hill section of the city around 3.30 this afternoon. They found smoke and flames in the kitchen. Investigators believe the fire was accidental. Three dogs were home at the time but not hurt. We're working to learn how seriously the person who went to the hospital was injured. And we are tracking the latest coronavirus case counts. Virginia reported less than 1,000 new cases today after two straight days of topping that mark. Hampton Roads continues to see a decrease in new cases, but the southwest region of the state has seen an increasing number of new cases over the last week. The percent of tests coming back positive has been steady. Hospitalizations have also been steady. Virginia Beach City Public Schools is apologizing after it emailed families incorrect information about the 2020 fall school year back in July. School leaders say the email included a link to a draft version of the plan instead of the final one. New tonight, Ten on your side, Santa Batneshi breaks down what this error means. Back in July, Virginia Beach City Public Schools approved a plan of what fall 2020 could look like for students. VBCPS says on July 30th, they sent out the plan in an email to families. However, they say there was an error in that email. The fall 2020 plan in the email was linked to a draft version instead of the final plan. The difference between the two? The draft version had a specific difference in regards to when certain grade levels could be brought back to face-to-face -face instruction. Basically, the draft version read that for parents who selected option one, as long as the eastern region was in the yellow zone for both percent positivity and cases by date, that VBCPS would not transition students in grades 7, 8, 10, 11, and 12 from virtual to face-to-face -to -face learning. The final version says that they may begin to transition these students if the health data remained stable or improved. In their message, VBCPS says in part, we regret sending the draft form rather than the final version of the plan and are deeply sorry for this error and for any confusion this may have caused. VBCPS says secondary teachers and their families will be given the opportunity to review their previous selections between option one and option two. It says on September 10th, parents will receive additional information on the process principals will follow beginning September 14th to address concerns regarding their previous selection. Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side. Well, Deanna, thank you. And the new school year, while very different, kicks off on Tuesday for most of our viewers. And we are your back to school station. Tuesday morning, remember to start your new routine with Don, Katie, Lex, Jeremy, and Madison. We have a whole morning planned of tips and ideas for a good school year, whether your child is learning at home or at school, plus weather and traffic every 10 minutes, and a new focus on good news for a good morning. It all starts at 4.30 Tuesday morning on Wavy News 10 today. And we are just getting started here at 11. Coming up, new details on a late night shooting in Portsmouth, what we're learning about the victims.